and the show contains scenes of violence and coarse language. Your discretion is advised. I ain't a fucking chooch. Let's give ourselves some drive, some motivation to fucking live, and every good group needs a boss. And that boss is me. So if you all agree to this, you want to take on this new world, then you just need to follow me. We're going south, boys. Fuck it. Calm down. And they followed. And that was the day the New World Mafia was born. <laughs> We proceeded to go south to a place called Zub Castle. But first, while we were going through the small town of Vishnoi, right next to it, we bumped into a guy called Luca Santino. Yeah, I'm Luca. It's nice to meet you. But what brings you to the town of Vishnoi? We, uh, have some business to attend not far from here. And, uh, what yeah. brings you here? Well, I've been sleeping here for the past couple of days. I'm sleeping in my house over there. It's a nice house you got there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've been sleeping in it. Oh, uh, what, what, uh, what's your name again, eh? Get a sword on your back, I see. Yeah, I got my sword on the back, eh? You wanna hold it? It's not a nice sword. Yeah, it is a nice sword. Yeah, sure. Really nice sword. Yeah, here we go. It's a good sword. Hey, try holding it. It's kinda heavy, though, eh? I think it's, uh, kinda like a prop or something. Careful with that thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty sharp, eh? <laughs> Look at you, a real medieval oh, fucking wow. chooch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fell it up there on the castle, eh? It's pretty nice place. Yeah, yeah, it is. Looks really nice. So, uh, I recognize the accent. Where's that from? Well, I'm telling you, eh? <laughs> right around here, Lee. Do you hear that? <laughs> that Italian. That's nice. It's Name's nice. Tony. Yeah, Tony, eh? Hey, what's your last name, Tony? Hey... Tony, well, you, yeah, if you got to tell me. Hey, yeah. you know yeah, what? Thanks. No, I ain't got nothing to hide. Mr. Tony hey, Moretti. Tony. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. Hey, hold on, hold on. Hey, repeat that to me. How you spell Moretti? Is it M-O-R-E-T-T-I? -T -T yeah. Well, you know what I got? Gotta give you a little handshake. Why? Well, the funny thing is, here I'll stay here from Philly, eh? Uh, come talk to you. To figure out why you weren't in contact with New York. What? You're from the Philly division? <laughs> yes, I am, man. Eh? Jesus well, uh, Christ! We owe uh, New York a couple of favors, eh? So, <laughs> you sent me here. Jesus fucking Christ! Are you kidding me? I've been looking for your ass for a long you time. You fucking kidding me? Don't. I've been looking for your ass for a long time, huh? I yeah, wanted to know what the fuck happened, eh? What happened? Hey, hey yeah, get over oh, here. Oh, thank you, thank you. Hey. Yeah, yeah <laughs> thank you. It's nice to see, uh, it's nice to see you. Heck, I don't fucking know you, but you're the closest thing that I've got to back home right now. <laughs> hey, hey, um, I, I, I got a quick question here. Uh, you didn't find my brother, right? Like, you know, Bobby... He was out here with me, and uh, I haven't fucking seen him since. Uh, uh, I gotta be honest with you, I didn't see anybody out here, out here you know? I haven't met anybody else with last name already. Fuck it, Ben, uh, eh? I got here uh, before this whole shit hit, yeah? I was kind of muscling some people down trying to find them, and uh, fuck, I couldn't find your ass. Hey, what well, you uh, I was uh, kind of preoccupied. I explained to him how we were stuck on a Stellis. That's because I needed to recruit this guy. So, uh, we're gonna make the best of what's going on here. And I like the feeling of being oh. like, uh, how do I say, uh, like back home, you know? And the only way I'm gonna get that is by forming what we call, and very respectfully, a mafia. You get my drift. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, though, I mean, uh... my compadres here, they're not all uh, Italian, per se. Not quite the same rules, you, uh, Luca. He's a good, he's a good hey, fellow. Hey, God forgive me, I, I ain't never seen a, 
A dark skinned man in the mafia, so you gotta get yeah, this. Yeah, this is what you gotta, gotta listen up on, Luca. Bro. Listen up, okay? We can't find fucking 50 uh, Italians out here. It's not gonna happen. You understand that? You've been searching. Have you seen 50 Italians? I haven't. I really haven't. It's not gonna happen. But these people yeah. here, Luca, these people, they all share the same values. Same fucking thing. So you know what this is called? This is called the New World Mafia. This is what this is. Nothing else, nothing more. <laughs> We're a new brand, a new breed. Call it whatever the fuck you want, but this is what we are. You've been sent here to find me, right? Yeah, basically, yeah. Well, you found me. But, uh, what else you gotta do? I'm looking for some soldiers, some good guys like you. You know, not some fucking wise yeah. guys, yeah. but some good guys. And you're one of those guys. You fucking came here to look for me. Why don't you come with us? I feel like we can get back, no? Like, I, I don't get it. Why, why can't we hey, go back? Eh? Maybe one day we back? can go back. We'll figure that shit out later. But for now, we're here. We need to put our roots down. Are you in? Are you out? Do you uh, want to work for me? Uh, what well, kind of got it, eh? Because, uh, I kind of got to stick by your side until we get through this shit so I can uh, get you back to New York, eh? Hey. If I don't, my fucking ass. Well, you uh, can think yeah. about that if you want. You find a solution, I'm all ears. But for now, we've got a little mission. And uh, you're welcome to join us. And if you want, if you want, you can come. If you don't, there's another way to go. But you're welcome to join us. Are you in or are you out? I'm in. I've been looking for you for a whole year, Tony. I ain't gonna let you go on my side in some soon, huh? That's what no I figured, way. Luca. That's what I figured. Welcome aboard, my friend. We're gonna change the fucking world yeah. together. Welcome aboard. We're not even in our new home yet, and we've already recruited somebody. Things are looking up for us. When we got there, we tried to settle in. I really like the place. We still needed to ask my advisor, Jack. Yeah. Nice to meet you, so what do you say, Jack? Is this good? Well, yeah, house is good defensive yeah, position. Yeah, Down here, yeah, it's a comfortable place for living. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just for sure. probably pretty good. Yeah, this is a nice place to yeah, relax. Yeah, That's yeah. a nice place to conduct business yeah, together. Yeah. I'd say uh, they work out pretty, pretty well. Yeah. Good. Gotcha. I'll start calling you Conan with that thing on your back. Conan. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. I think you should get the first, uh, first, uh, steak. Ha! <laughs> Tonight we feast. Uh, listen to me, uh, Tony, huh? Yeah. Every time I come across somebody with this sword, you know, they're usually, uh, a respectable man. And, uh, I want to give this sword to you, yeah? It's just out of respect. It doesn't mean much to me, so you can use it, huh? Well, it looks good. A little heavy. So, yeah. I really like this. So I thought it was a good idea to finally sit down, fucking relax, and get to know his family a little bit. Yeah, just, uh, just take a seat. It's relaxed. We had a long fucking day. It was a long run, but uh, we got here safely, and I'm happy about that. I'm really happy to count you all into this family. So, uh, if you guys were there at my fucking appeal, I told, uh, I told him that, uh, I didn't kill those people in the fucking, there's all 200 plus people. And I wasn't the smiley face killer, and I gave him some dates. Well, <laughs> you guys are like family to me now, and I want you guys to trust me. So, uh, I killed a lot of people. I drowned a lot of people. 200 plus victims, to be exact. I was a bad guy back in the day. Uh, Johnny, 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 Johnny. You know what, my friend? I know you're a man who can do the job. That's why you are my underboss. Don't kill any of us, though. I don't want to fucking drown. You fucking judge. Well, I ain't never talked much about any of this shit to y'all. I know that. You know, I uh, I did my time in a gang or two. Got busted up. Uh, turns out they uh, they were willing to expunge my records as a juvenile. You know, I, I put myself through uh, a waste of my fucking time, to be honest. 
I, uh, I tried to get into a legal program. You might remember uh, your little trial there. That's where I picked up some of that yeah. uh, information. So, uh, you know, that didn't pan out. Ended up over here helping out one of my old buddies from my old crew. His uh, grandma, a couple of fucking Russians over here being hard ass, and uh, there wasn't nobody to help her out. So three of us came over, and we took care of some business. Unfortunately, everything went to shit. You know the story. You've been through it. I guess I wouldn't mind uh, talking. I um, didn't know my parents. Uh, I was an orphan. And, and didn't really wasn't a problem for me. Uh, in my eyes, I enjoyed it. I uh, got to grow up with a group of kids. Uh, they didn't really like me, though. And I didn't find that a problem. It didn't take long for me to uh, get rid of them. And one morning uh, in the orphanage, I poisoned the porridge. There were a few dead bodies, and I didn't eat porridge that day, and the police found out it was me. Uh, I got shipped off to East to go to some kid jail, I guess you could say. And one day, wake up here in uh, some hospital, and, uh, well, everything went downhill from there. The regulators uh, caught me early and locked me up, uh, and, uh, well, just made it out not too long ago with uh, the rest of you, so thank you for that. So far, I haven't really told anyone, but uh, I used to be a poacher. I uh, used to take some mammals, other animals, uh, from the illegal list. Tigers and cheetahs, eh? Yeah, yeah. I got caught with attempted murder on the regulators, but uh, they kind of stopped me before I had the chance to get to them. I lost my wife at, uh, at 22 when she had the kid. I had to do something. Sorry to hear that. Lily M. I didn't notice. Eh, I didn't all notice. Right. I'm here for you. I told you that. We're all here for you. See, we're your wife now. <laughs> if that's good enough. <laughs> I mean, well, don't I get me wrong. No fucking sandwiches. Yeah. I ain't gonna be bending for you, but you get what I mean, uh, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, lived uh, I lived in uh, NYC, you know, my entire life. I uh, didn't really, uh, you know. Home wasn't the best. Dad was a prick. Mom was a whore. You know, yada 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 boo hoo. So, ended up uh, ended up leaving that uh, leaving that place. You no, know, I put some jobs for the mob and uh, some well less than straight cops, as I like to call them. You know, shit started to hit the fan back in uh, back in New York. Snuck my way onto a fucking. Uh, cargo ship ended up in this shithole, or at least somewhere near here. Ain't much else to tell. Whatever we did in the past, fellas, that was the past fucking world. Your skills now are really needed. <laughs> Being a criminal has not paid off more than now, I'll tell you that. Once we were settled in, we had a first visitor, Hunter Harris. He's Julian's friend. He came to give us some welcoming gifts, as well as some much-needed survival tips. So, uh, I hear you had some, uh, Perhaps some stuff uh, that we might find useful. Yeah, um, one of my specialties is I like to collect gear, especially the hard to find stuff. I kind of run solo most of the time, so it makes it a little easier. But I figured I'd bring some stuff that I thought you guys might like that would help your group. Uh, go ahead. Show me what you got. Ammunition, because, well, this stuff is hard to come by, and this is going to determine if you're going to survive or not. One of those things that really are party, uh, party popper, if you want to call them. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is really good, Johnny. Come see here, John. More ammunition, because this is really hard to find. And that's what I've got for you guys at the moment. And then I have some information that may help you guys out. Guys, I, uh, this uh, this is Mr. Harris. We treat him with respect. He has just given us a lot of good stuff. Very valuable stuff. And now he's going to give us something more valuable. Some ways to survive out there. We've all been inside for a long time. Maybe not Luca, you know, but uh, this man is an expert. And he can help us give some few tips and get ready for what the fuck's out there. So uh, let's give him a good listen. He's got a few minutes. Go ahead, uh, Mr. Harris. Is you're going to encounter a lot of ex-military groups or military groups out here. So many of them are going to be trained on how to protect. I like to roll by myself single most of the time. There's advantages to being single, and there's advantages to being a group. The information I'm going to give you is going to actually help you guys more than anything.
we were ready to face the new world. Most of my boys were out scouting the land looking for drugs, ammunition, weapons, whatever could help us. But on his way, Philip Smith found a possible new soldado. His real name was Lucifer Carmen. We just called him Lucas. I'm not to ask you to put away that, uh, that gun. Alright. If you've, uh, got all of your things, just follow me in here. Come in. Got the, uh, new guy. Nice to meet you, sir. <laughs> hey! How about you have a seat, uh, Lupus? There you go. So, my, uh, my associate here tells me you're a good man. You're looking for a place to, uh, you know, be taken care of. Family, maybe. Am I correct? Yeah. So I suppose Philip here uh, told you a little bit about what we are, what we do. Yeah, you're a businessman, right? You got it right, my friend. We need some men. It's pretty damn simple. Doesn't matter who the fuck you are. As long as you're uh, willing to fight the same cause as us. We want to live this world the way we see fit. We do what we want, we take care of each other, and that's what we're all about. Now, I understand you're looking for that kind of home. You understand that if you stay with us, and you're willing to fight for the cause with us, that I am the person that you come to at all times. Any decision you need to make, you need to go through me or through the underboss. You help us out, we help you out, we keep each other alive. That's how this works. Are you willing to listen to me? Yes, I am. Good. I don't want no power struggle bullshit going on. If I hear that you're trying to take my place in an unfashionable way, it's going to be very regrettable on your part, Mr. Carmen. You understand that, right? You know, it's only a question of respect. Yes, sir. Of course. I'm not a bad guy. I really am not. Like I said, we're businessmen. Before I could officially welcome Lucifer, a Lucas, I want to know a little bit more about him. Well, um, I grew up in Kentucky, um, my parents weren't, uh, let's say, the nicest to me, uh, they'd always beat me, hurt me, choke me, uh, um, father, he was a, his father was an alcoholic, mother was a drug addict, <laughs> shocker, they're gonna be doing that to their own, Flesh and blood, right? I used to uh, be a referee for uh, paintball, a paintball course uh, in Kentucky. Uh, I had a beautiful girlfriend, prettiest thing in the world. She always lifted me up instead of putting me down. She was the best. Hey, but you're okay here, okay? Welcome, my friend. I am glad to call you. A part of the family, the soldados, you will fight for me, you will fight for us, you will fight for our cause. Yes, I will. Things are going real good. We almost had everything we needed, and almost ready to go out there and claim ourselves a new town. Wouldn't you know that Lucifer, the Lucas, is actually the one who found us our first client. He had bumped into a very distressful lady, and she looked like she might need her services. Alright, here's my boss. First thing I'm gonna need you to do is put the gun on the ground. For safety precaution, he doesn't know you yet. I do not have my gun out, so you do not need to worry. Please don't make me regret this. I'll give it back right after. Don't worry. You can trust me. Hello. Hi. Don't be afraid. I think I know why you're here. It's okay. Listen, we are good people here. Feel free to have a seat. Or stand up if you will. I'm a respectful man. My mother always taught me to, uh, respect a lady. It's very important. I have manners. Feel, uh, feel comfortable. Like you're at home. I'm just gonna sit right here. Uh, I'm gonna stand if it's okay. It's perfectly fine. Lucas, thank you so much. If you will, uh, just keep an eye outside. Close up behind you, okay? Yes. Thank you. So, uh, what's your name? 
Chloe. Chloe. Appearance. My name is Tony. Tony Moretti. You have nothing to worry about. What's going on, Chloe? I heard that you were in trouble. Um, yeah. I guess I am. A Don't be afraid. I'm all ears. I want to help you, Chloe. But you've got to help me. Why? I am a man of respect. I like to help others. It makes me feel good. I make friends. These friends, they help me. It's a big circle of help and respect. That's really all this is. You're here because I want to offer my help to you. So don't be shy. I'm not going to hurt you. But I need to know what happened. I... My friend Jacob had this person after him called Simon. Today, Simon caught up with us and he um, took us off into the woods and made me stab my friend in the leg. He and made you do this? Yeah, he said if I don't do it, he's going to kill us. Then he got my friend to pick up the knife and carve the word Sandman into my neck. That... That is absolutely horrible. Lucas! <laughs> yes, sir? Get in here, please. You, uh, you may return her weapon. I'm a man of respect. I see you have went through some big troubles. There's your weapon. Excuse me for this. You know, I uh, have some trust issues. You must forgive me. It's uh, nothing personal. <laughs> I think we all do. It's understandable. If you really, if you really mean what you're saying, thank you for your help. What's this gonna cost me? You, you just don't need to worry about that. If the day comes, and I'm sure it'll never come, I may come to you and ask you for a favor. Eh, don't worry, I'm not gonna make you stab a guy in the fucking legs. Or nothing like that. Just a little bit of help, if you can help me at that time. You understand? Yeah, I understand. So, it's a There's Sandman people guy. people following me. Yeah, I heard. Uh, Lucas has informed me of this. We have guys around looking. I, I saw them back in Cabin, you know, there were two people. And I looked at them, they were just looking back at me and the, one of them did that. I don't know, he let his finger across his throat like he was gonna- You're always watching, Chloe! What the fuck was that? Don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> Looks like we had some company. And it wasn't a welcome type. Could it be the Sandman guy? One thing's for sure, he wasn't gonna fuck with me or my client. Uh -huh.